hello hello another day another beach we are in Cadiz today and I've found my way to the beach I've been through the city center I'm a little tomato face because I'm part way through my run um, I decided to do my 5k run in Cadiz today just for a bit of an explore um, honestly feeling a bit out of sorts today so it took me a while to get out of bed just feeling a bit meh you know you have those days even when you're on holiday <laughs> or sometimes especially when you're on holiday because it gives you more time and space um, so uh, yeah just just a bit meh today so I'm just being kind to myself taking it nice and easy um, I'm also really full from all the food that I'm eating so I'm gonna start taking it easy and yeah not eating as much and not eating at weird times uh, anyway this is the beach ever so nice um, and there's a lot of kind of like old style buildings um, and of course the oblivious palm trees um, I did take some videos as I went through the city centre and then what I'm gonna do is run along the beach a little bit and then turn back around and I think I can run around a coastal road that will take me through some gardens and back to the ship so I will start periodically and perhaps take some videos um, and if so you'll see those next um, but uh, yeah here's Cadiz 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 <laughs> Cadiz in Spain Andalusia <laughs> I think that's where we are anyway we're in the south of Spain <laughs> um, it is quite near to Seville so some people have gone on a trip to Seville but I, I fancied it just day exploring around uh, Cadiz today so I'll check in again later so as you can see from the blue skies, it was another glorious day. I think it was early 20s today, but really nice and sunny. The beach was ever so quiet though. It was very relaxed. Uh, I'm guessing that, you know, we're not in peak tourist season. So there weren't too many people, um, despite an influx of cruise ship <laughs> people. But I think most were exploring the towns. It was just beautiful. And you can see the architecture here as well. Really, really lovely town. Lots of sort of um, old style architecture that was just beautiful. Some more examples here. Everywhere I turned, it was just really Really, really pretty and then I got to see some cats I'm really missing my cats I'm looking forward to getting home for some cat cuddles so this was really nice to see as well and then I ran out to this little sort of outpost where there was a tower although it was closed uh, with it being Monday um, and then uh, to this little castle so I've run oh four and a half miles now I did walk some of it as well and I've kind of been stopping and taking photos and videos um, but my, my route worked out pretty well actually so I went to the beach and then uh, went along the coastal road stopped a few times and then I've got to the gardens now and uh, found myself a swing I love swinging um, so yeah this is really nice as you can probably see I'm a little bit hot and sweaty it's a bit warm and I've been running um, but yeah it's uh, gonna have some fun on the swing now. See you later. So after doing a bit of swinging, I went to explore the gardens. This is the view from the top of one of the bridges. Um, lots of different areas of different types of plants, similar to some of the other gardens I've explored this week. Um, really liked these shaped trees, lovely. Then I went back through the city centre, um, and again, just some really lovely old style buildings. Um, yeah, just, just a sort of beautiful town that um, I really wasn't expecting, if I'm totally honest. Um, very pleasantly surprised um, by Cadiz. Uh, and they had these really cute narrow streets, which just look so inviting. And everywhere you turned, there was just really nice um, little streets and, and building and architecture. And down this one, you can see Iona. Um, the ship was really, really close to the city centre, um, so a great one for those who perhaps aren't as mobile. You can see this is from actually in the gardens, um, look how close the ship was. Uh, then when I got back onto the ship, uh, I had a chicken dinner, as you do in summer. I think this is quite possibly one of my favourite things about this cruise. Um, so I tend to go for inside cabins, they're a lot cheaper and I go out on deck if I want to be outside. Um, what I really really like is that I can I can still feel like I'm outside even when my, I'm in my cabin with the um, camera and uh, so this let me, lets me know what's going on out there what the weather's like where we're at um, yeah just just really cool also on here um, if I go back um, and back again you can also see where we are so we're currently traveling between number six and number seven on the map and you can see down on the side as well the timing so we should we're at sea at the moment we left Cadiz at 5 30 um, and we should get to Lisbon tomorrow at around 9 a.m um so yeah I just I just think it's really 
really great. I know a lot of places have this, but I'm going to be completely honest. On two of my four cruises, uh, they've supposedly had this feature and it has not worked. Um, so yeah, I just really like having the bridge cam. It's really nice. They've, they have a radio station on as well, but I've got it muted at the moment. But yeah, it's just nice. Just nice having the cabin, especially for those of us in inside cabins. I assure you six hours passed until I had this, which was antipasti at the Olive Garden, and then this gluten-free pizza and a crema catalan. Look how massive it is. Hand for scale. Hello, hello. So I'm back in my cabin, um, coming towards the end of day 10, although I may nip out and do the late comedian, uh, which is at 11 o'clock. Quite glad that the clocks go back tonight. We've had two days of the clocks going forwards and it is a little bit confusing, uh, but we're going to Portugal tomorrow. So we go back and we go back to UK time, which will be uh, really nice. Um, so yeah, I didn't do much this afternoon. I felt a bit meh still. Um, so one of the beauties of an inside cabin is you can come and take a nap in the middle of the day and it still seems like it's completely dark. Uh, so I didn't nap for that long, but I did just rest. So um, yeah, I spent some time just, just relaxing today. I uh, did some crochet. Um, I'll, I'll perhaps show you some of my crochet if I finish any of it. Um, but but here's, a, here's a sneak peek. This is something that I uh, made today. Can you tell what it is yet? You won't be able to. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I did a bit of crochet, um, watched some stuff that I downloaded to my iPad, uh, and then had a shower, got changed, and went to see The Illusionist tonight, um, which was really good, actually. Really, really enjoyed that show. And it's nice, like, I'm really enjoying the singing and dancing, but it was good to have something a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, The Illusionist was good. And then I've been for dinner in, surprise, surprise, The Olive Grove. I really like it there. Although I think now I've probably tried all the dishes that I want to try from there. Um, and I would still like to try the Keelan Cow, and I would like to go back to the Beach House. Uh, so now it's kind of getting to the stage where I'm like, okay, what have I not tried that I really want to? Um, there's a couple of things on the Beach House, actually, so I might do that there a couple of nights if I can and then we've still got one formal night which will be um a little bit different so I'm probably going to do the chef's table uh for that one uh so yeah end of day 10 unless I go to the comedian um but as with most shows we're not able to video a lot of that stuff and um, so I can't kind of show you sneak previews um but uh yeah it's been a very very quiet day today I say this on every day don't I <laughs> so low cruising Apparently it's very quiet. This is not my normal experience. I've cruised on my own before and it's not always been like this. Today was a bit different because I did choose to spend time on my own for most of today because I was just feeling a bit a bit unsociable, to be honest. Just woke up feeling a bit meh and it didn't really get any better um, until I'd had some rest and uh, it got changed tonight. But um, yeah, I I'm hoping to get a good night's sleep tomorrow. Although I think I'm also going to set my alarm uh, because it's Lisbon tomorrow and I get to do trams and I get to go exploring and see pretty things. Um, it's still going to be really hot. So going to have to be a little bit careful um, about that. But yeah, I think I'm going to set my alarm and uh, head out a little bit earlier. So I get lots of exploring time. Um, we are there for two days, but I still would like to make sure I kind of maximise the time in Lisbon because um, we've got two sea days after that, so I can just chill. Um, still yet to get Gary Barlow tickets, still trying all the time. Um, there's some groups on Facebook uh, of people kind of saying like, if there anyone that doesn't want to go, I'd really like to go, but there's only one of me. If what if like your partner doesn't want to go, can I go with you instead? <laughs> so we'll see. I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna get to go, but I'm gonna try my damnedest because I really want to see Gary Barlow. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's been Cadiz. Really loved it. Like I said in the um, video, just really really nice place. Uh, a pleasant surprise. I will see you again tomorrow.